Hi, this is Melanie for Daisy Reviews, and I'm here to do a review of the Hindi Netflix film, Monica, Oh My Darling, starring Rajkumar Rao. If you're new to Pardesi Reviews, I do reviews and trailer directions of Indian cinema. So this is a film uh, that came out on Netflix a couple of weeks ago. And it's only two, about two hours long, maybe a little bit over. And it's an absolute delight. <laughs> it was so fun. This, um, it stars Rajkumar Rao. The director is... Vasan Bala. The film is, I didn't know this when I watched it, but it's an adaptation of a Japanese novel, uh, Brutasu no Shinzu, which means Heart of Brutus, uh, by Keigo Hagishino. Okay, the script. The script killed. <laughs> <laughs> literally and figuratively oh my god I, I love I love a mystery that surprises you there's so many twists and turns both comedic and <laughs> dark that that this film takes and I abs that's the roller coaster ride of it was what I just really enjoyed the closest thing I can think of feeling was like underdone you know what I mean where it's a dark comedy you're left, you know, you're left guessing at many points. It takes unexpected turns. That's what it felt like. Curiously, also having Radhika Apte. Now here she's playing an ACP. And oh my God, well, she's this cop that just laughs. Like her, her kind of evil maniacal laughter in several scenes was just delicious. I love the way she played this. I kept thinking to myself that... This was the kind of part that we so often see a man play. And here we have a woman in this role challenging the, you know, suspect uh, and, and having this banter. And then the twist that we have at the end with her character, <laughs> like, uh, she just, she just played it beautifully. I, she's, you know, she's a more of a supporting character, but I absolutely loved how she played this role. And she is one example of how the women, and normally in these noir stories, the women may have had more of a supporting role, being either the victim or, you know, the blackmailer or whatever that drives the plot, but not necessarily our, our main character. While these women, um, there's several women in this film, and Huma Qureshi is just one, she's the, you know, Monica, like, <laughs> the song that just surprises us, the surprises and have depths to their character and oh, yeah, I just really loved what the, how this script wrote the women the roles that the women played in the noir mystery as it was going on now Rush Kumar Rao I've all been a long time fan of and I think this was one of these perfect roles for him where he's kind of an everyman he's playing someone who's trying to marry into a rich family in this robotic or robotics company of all things and you know and but he's also having an affair with someone and he's afraid of being found out and and he's just like he just has this kind of put upon quality and also he just carries the comedic scenes to a T like he is just I can't, I can't even really imagine another actor playing his part so perfectly. Now, there were some other supporting characters that were super fun. Um, Sikandar Kerr. <laughs> oh, my God. He was so delicious. <laughs> he has kind of a smaller supporting role, but he was pitch perfect. Loved his part. Loved the way he played it. He's the son of the robotics uh, company, you know, Tycoon. And then... Um, Bhagavati, Bhagavati Paramal also plays this accountant. <laughs> He's been a fun supporting character in a lot of movies that I've seen, and he was really good in this one. So, and also, um, Akansha Ranja Kapoor plays, Nikki plays the rich girlfriend of Rajkumar Rao's character, and she just, the way she delivers certain lines, like... <laughs> anyway, I don't want to spoil anything at all about the plot. It's a murder, noir, whatever, but it's a dark comedy. There's a lot of laughs in it, too. It's just really worth checking out on Netflix. I don't want to give any more, any more spoilers about the plot because, for me, the enjoyment was going in, 
not really knowing much at all and just being delighted. There's a lot. Now, I know for me, if you're a follower of Hindi films and history, I think there's a lot of nods to um, Hindi, Hindi films. I mean, just the title song itself, right? I could tell that was a classic song. But uh, there are also nods to Hollywood. Like there's a Bates Motel at one point. Like there's all sorts of little Easter eggs sprinkled through. And if you are a fan of Hindi cinema and old time Bollywood, you would probably catch many more than even I did. But it was, you don't, that's just extras on, you know, cherries on top of a um, delightful film. So highly recommend uh, like I said, it's only like it's only a little over two hours. So give it a chance. It's on Netflix. And if you've seen the film, let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. Would love to know your thoughts. Follow me on Twitter at PradaisyYT. Follow me on Instagram at Pradaisy Reviews. And if you hit the bell here when you subscribe, you'll never miss another trailer action or film review.